hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for today i am using my oneplus 9rt with this old loxonos update ex01 v600 which was released one month ago we already reviewed this build you can check its review from the link in the video description but yesterday when i checked the oxonos updater application i got this new oxonos ex01 v700 build with some interesting change log but when I checked the stock Oxonos updater application in the stock setting, I didn't got this update. It doesn't showing this update in the setting. So I downloaded this update via Oxonos updater application. It's a big update of 5.8 GB. Actually, it's incremental over Oxonos 14 V600. But as I am downloading via the application, we need to download the full OTA file. Once download completed, you will find this update file under the root of the storage. To install this update, go to the stock Oxonos updater available under the setting. There tap 3 dot menu available on the top left corner. There choose the local install and select the newly downloaded file. System will extract the file and installation will begin. So if you are on the Oxonos EX01 V600 build or any Oxonos 14 version, then you can download this update via this application and can flash it manually like I shown here on the top of any Oxonos 14 update. Today we are going to thoroughly check the changes of this new update along with the performance testing of the new build. We also discuss how this update performed with the PGMI. At the last I discuss some bugs of this build. So watch this video till the end. Now with the further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. All the process of flashing of new update will take 10 to 15 minutes. Let's first we will check out the board device detail to confirm the new changes done by the OnePlus team. Oxonos updated now showing we are upgraded to the new version of Oxonos 14 EX01 V700 with its software OTA version as the U90 P00. We will get all the change log details of the new update. Its Android version is same like old build its Android 14 upside down cake. The big change of this update is its security patch. It's now updated to the latest June 2024. Old build has the April security patches. Under the version section, we get all the details of the new update. Like this is the Oxynos 14 V700 EX01 update. Kanna version is same like old build. Its version number is 5.4.254. Software order version is U90P00BRBEX01. This new update is based on the Google's new QPR3 source code. Now we will thoroughly check out the new changes done in this update. The first one is the new volume tile in the QS panel. It looks something different because of its vertical look. Similarly, new brightness slider who gets here, we can check here. It also looks similar to the volume bar. If you long press and slide the brightness slider, it shows the whole home screen background with the brightness level. Once we use the slider, it goes back to the original QS panel. Next change is available under the home screen and the lock screen setting of the device. Here now we get the new clock style setting. We get the two different clock options like old classic clock which place the clock on the left corner of the lock screen while the new minimalistic option will place the clock horizontally on the top of the screen which looks nice. The next change you will find under the screen lock security setting. Here we get the show track toggle. If you disable this and try to unlock the device, unlock pattern will not be visible. And if you enable this toggle and then try to unlock the device, you will see the pattern visible. Next change we will found under the floating windows of the application. If we enable the floating window for any application, now we can quickly resize it by just dragging its bottom to expand it to the standard mode or dragging the bottom of the application to the upside to minimize it again. This is very smooth and easy way to resize the multi window of application. These are all the new changes added by the OnePlus team for the new update and they all are amazing addition for more productivity. Now let's check out some fixes done by the team. First one is they fixed the overlapping of the recent panel icon with the home screen app or application icon while accessing the recent panel. Next they fixed the new volume slider QS panel tile gets triggered when you use the volume slider 
by pressing the volume buttons only volume slider will get pop up after pressing the volume buttons now next team has fixed the vibrate on ring for incoming calls is not working previously sometimes it didn't give the vibration effect for incoming calls even though this setting had enabled but now it's fixed and working another fix is not mentioned in the change log i was facing this from long time when i tried to clear all button in the recent panel to dismiss all the applications still only currently running application got dismissed but other applications remains in the memory but if someone has this issue it fixes now after tapping the clear all button in the recent panel all application gets closed and free memory notification pops up now no application will remain in the memory let's check out the performance of the new update actually from the last build device performance lot improved smoothness is redefined scrolling touch response apps opening closing switching between application for new update is amazing if you test the performance numerically via geekbench then i did the test two times with the performance mode enabled and the performance mode disabled let's first check out the performance results for the geekbench with the cpu performance mode enabled next we did the second round of performance tests without the performance mode Now let's compare the results of the both performance mode and without performance mode. With the performance mode enabled, we got the score of 1179 and 3317, while without the performance mode, the score is 1229 and 3350. Here only multi-core performance has been improved for the performance mode as compared to the non-performance mode results. For the GPU graphics performance testing, with the performance mode enabled, we got the score of 4360. and without the performance mode we got the score of 4348 it's almost same for both but for hulkan graphics with the performance mode we got the score of 4825 and without performance mode it is 4526 the significant improvement is there for the hulkan results when the performance mode is enabled overall score didn't matters a lot but as per my usages from the last new build performance of the device is very good no lag whatsoever you will notice Even the test sampling rate is ranging between 118 to 129 Hz for the normal users for the better scrolling and touch response. As per the change log, OnePlus specially mentioned that they improved the gaming stability, so I played the BGMI on the new update. There is no specific addition is done by the OnePlus team here. Everything is same in the game space. While playing the BGMI, I didn't notice any difference. Screen refresh rate was constant on 60 FPS all the time. No 90 FPS support will be available until now but if you are rooted then you can follow the tutorial video given under the video description to enable the 90 FPS for BGMI gaming experience was amazing graphics quality smoothness touch response of the game is next level for this update please give your personal experience about this in the comment section regarding the performance and the gaming Now let's check out some bugs or the issues that I am facing every time as I am using OnePlus 9RT with the unlocked bootloader. Safety net check getting failed on the unlocked bootloader every time. Similarly, device play protect also remained uncertified. To solve this issue, either you can lock the bootloader again or you can use the root method. Both the video tutorials are given under the video description. The another issue that I am facing for every update is I can't able to find out the Amazon application in app drawer even after using the keywords for the search bar. But it's actually available in the Play Store. I need to always open it via Play Store. I can't understand what is this. It may be the device specific bug. The locked bootloader user will not face any kind of issues like safety net or the Play Protect. So in reality this update seems completely bug free and the stable one with the lots of new features and the amazing stability with the performance for the gaming and to day to day activities after few days i will report full battery details of the new update so stay tuned until then if you like my work then please do like and share this video subscribe to channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content thanks for watching soon next time take care bye bye